Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our lesson today. Today we will be doing operations with fractions. Specifically, we will be adding and subtracting fractions that have like denominators. That means that the denominators will be the same. So let's go ahead and take a little look-see here. If I wanted to add two-fifths plus two-fifths, if I wanted to add those together, well, we know that when we add things, we push them together. So two-fifths and two-fifths when put together gives you how many fifths all together? One, two, three, four. That equals four fifths. So let me show you how we can write this down. So I would write it like this. Two fifths plus two fifths equals. And when we put it together, how much did it equal? It equaled four fifths. We can also do some tracing of this. Let me show you how we can do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a trace. So I'm going to trace my fifths like this, nice and careful. So I hold one down. So we're saying two fifths plus plus two fifths equals, we have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to trace all four of those. And that equaled how many again? One, two, three, four. Equals four fifths, like that. Okay, so I know what I've sent to you guys are paper fractions you can print out, so you wouldn't necessarily trace them. I mean, you could try to chase them if you want, if you printed them out on thicker paper, but you could also print them out and then just cut them out and glue and paste them down. And you are, of course, always welcome and encouraged to decorate your work. You know, you could decorate one of your add-ins like this. Pizza is always a very popular choice for decorating fractions since it does look like the almighty pizza. Oh dear, oh dear. See, so you can just decorate them any way that you would like to. So I've shown you two ways here that you can write them. You can do some tracing or in your case, possibly cutting and pasting, or you can just write down the numbers this way. It's really up to you, but let's do a couple more problems, all right? And I'm gonna do all of the problems in both forms, okay? So that if one makes more sense to you or you wanna do one more than the other, you have the opportunity to see examples in both. So I'm going to do 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. So for tracing, I'm going to trace these. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to trace every single piece. However, just know that you can always just use one piece to trace them. I'm sure that you saw me do that earlier. So one fourth, one fourth, this is going to equal two fourths plus one fourth. Equal. Okay. That's how we set up the problem. I'm going to write down my problem here. Two fourths plus one fourth equals. Now remember, I'm using marker so that you guys can see it on the camera, but it is important that you are using pencil in case you make a mistake. That way you can erase it. I'm sure many of you have seen me make many mistakes on these videos and I can't erase it because I've been using pen or Sharpie so you guys can see it. 
So we have both of our problems set up. Now it's time to find the answer. So when we know when we add things, we push them together. So how many fourths do you see there now? One, two, three. So it equals three fourths. And I'm going to trace that. So tracing and cutting and pasting, it, you know, it does take up a little bit more space, but that's okay. It is okay. Sometimes it is really, really important to actually, you don't have to leave these like that, to actually physically move these materials around. That is what I recommend when you first start. Okay, and that's gonna equal three fourths. So you see, I'm still practicing writing the fractions in numbers. We just also have the things that we can actually count. So this equals three fourths. Cool, let's do one more addition problem and then we'll move on to subtraction. This time we'll do something that's a little bit smaller. We'll do, or smaller in fraction size at least, right? Three sixths plus two sixths. So we have some tracing to do. So that says three sixths plus two sixths. And I'm gonna write it down in numbers over here. Three sixths plus two sixths equals. Okay, so when we push all these together, how many sixths do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five sixths. So equals five sixths. Like that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move on to some subtraction. So in subtraction, we know that we take things away. So if I wanted to do five sevenths and I wanted to take away two, so I'm gonna put that on my paper, both my papers so you can see what it looks like to set up the problem. I wanted to say five sevenths minus minus two sevenths. I'm going to write it down over here too. Five sevenths minus two sevenths. Okay, so you see we only have five here. I traced the two sevenths to show what we're taking away, but you see we only have this first portion here because we're not adding these together. We're subtracting them. This problem says five sevenths minus one, two sevenths, and we take that away. And what are we left with? One, two, three, three sevenths. left with three sevenths. So five sevenths minus two sevenths equals three sevenths. Okay, let's do another one. If I wanted to do two thirds minus one third. Two thirds minus One third. Two thirds minus one third. Let's write it on our paper. If I took one third away from here, because that's what we're supposed to take away, how many thirds do we have left? We just have one. So this equals one third, okay? So if we looked at it, look, I kind of just made 
a little fraction book, didn't I? I have a couple pages. But you can make a whole fraction book of these, which is what can be really cool. And especially if you take time and decorate them or if you uh, print them out on different colored papers or if you print them out on white paper and then decorate them or if you want to try to trace them and decorate them. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. Or you can trace them on fancy paper and cut that out and then glue it down. There's lots of different things you can do to make really cool fraction books. Okay, or... If you want to just write it down like this, you can. Just make sure that if this isn't making sense to you, if this confuses you, you want to go back and cut out the material and use the material with your hands. Lots of scientific studies and evidence to show when you use your hands to manipulate things that can really help you learn things a lot better and faster. All right, friends, we're all done with our basic operations of adding and subtracting fractions. And I will talk to you all later.